<laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Um, yeah, so as you can see, full green screen, so no more, you know, swaying back and forth and all that. Um, also expect more kind of ridiculous uh, content and stuff, man, for sure. On the way, for sure, my guy. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm pretty much just looking at the phone. I sped it up just because of the uh, time it took. It was kind of, you can kind of get the point when it's at times too, so that's why it's going super fast. But yeah, it's super thin and all that, and then... Yeah, so I wanted to kind of just show you guys, you know, how fast it is, like, when you swipe up and all that. And, uh, yeah, I got into one that was, like, dang, and then I got into two, which is pretty sweet. Uh, that little sun thing was in the way, but I tried to avoid it as best as possible. The light, obviously not a sun, but, um, but yeah, as you can see, uh, it swipes very fast. Uh, just assume that you can, if you want to see the actual swiping speed, you can turn the video down to point, uh, point 0.5, and that'll actually bring it back to normal speed. So if you want to see that, but just for time's sake, I decided to uh, put everything quick. So yeah, those are the themes. And then that was, you know, scrolling and there's customization. There's all those widgets. There are uh, different home screen grid layouts and things like that. It's basically Samsung UI. Um, if you've ever used a Samsung phone before, um, you can actually try the Samsung UI. If you go to, uh, I think it's like try Samsung or something like that. You can actually, it's a like trygalaxy.com or something. You can actually try the Samsung UI. So it's the same layout. Here you actually have something called dynamic wallpapers, so these allow you to uh, play games. Uh, it's not that fast, obviously, but um, it's it's pretty fun, yeah. And uh, you, know, you got to kind of work out the weird kind of kinks with having a game on your wallpaper and the home screen still reacting and stuff. But um, but yeah, it uh, takes a little bit, but yeah, you can figure it out. Um, I'll just let that light. Oh, so I wanted to show you guys the assistant. This is my favorite thing. I've brought it up before, but it's still my favorite thing. You have the built-in storage cleaner, so no more. You know, no more CC cleaner with all those advertisements, which basically makes you think you're not actually getting a clean device and you got to buy a subscription. This thing just takes care of that. You don't even need anything like that. You can just clean your device natively. It's fantastic. Just such a great feature, to be honest. Like, it's cool. They have seldom use apps and all that. So you can delete stuff you don't use, which is also pretty sweet. You can you uh, can freeze applications, but you can block spam. You can do a virus scan as well. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty it's pretty great. Um, I found that it does a pretty good job of blocking uh, things like that. So the Z Assistant will optimize your device. Um, so don't worry about device optimization because you can do that. So, you know, it takes care of background apps, clears it out. It'll, uh, you know, clear your phone. It basically does all the individual things I talked about in one. It'll also turn off developer options. So you just have to uh, go in and re-enable re it. But I'm sure there's some way you can uh, make it so it doesn't do that, which is uh, which is good. Oh, uh, yeah. So there's uh, at, at risk apps for, you know, security purposes and things like that. I don't know what I was doing. I think I don't know what I was doing, to be honest. But, but yeah, so there's app freezing. So you can actually go in and you can turn off applications you don't want, you know, literally on your phone that you can't remove that's blower. So essentially they're taken off and they get removed out of storage as well. Basically, all, all the stuff is the application um icon itself taking up the data which is pretty sweet um something that i think they put in uh that's good for dealing with blowware of course they could have added an uninstall but i think i don't really know why but is what it is um so yeah you got cod war zone you can go and you can see uh you know the usages i've had videos on this before so if you want to see a little bit in depth go through my other comparison videos or go through the actual 8s review i go and i show this in depth so you can see on there yeah, you'll have access to different permissions and you can turn it on and off and you can actually set permission settings that aren't native to the application. You can uh, see what every app is requesting at what time and you can block those as well. Really gives you full control over applications and lets you, lets you see what people are doing to try and get your data. It's, it's a very secure phone for the most part. I mean, who's to say that the phone companies themselves aren't taking your data and selling it, but I mean, I'd rather have a big company be doing it that at least offers something in return you know versus some random small company that you don't know what they're doing with your data they're pretty transparent i believe um but yeah but yeah i mean either way it's fine just how they make money they make money so that they can put it back into nice phones and it's a good trade no we do but yeah um this is the app permissions um and then these are all the permissions and stuff so kind of what i was just talking about just pretty freaking sweet we guys are enjoying the big green screen i had to stand on my chair and fell over <laughs> but uh yeah we got it oops we got it pinned up against the wall which is uh pretty freaking sweet my guys so exciting stuff yeah those are um obviously them just side by side um i wanted to just kind of take some time to do the uh fold specifically um and obviously you know the unfolding process people always ask about the crease it's not bad unless you hold it on an angle 
or if you're in direct sunlight, you see the crease. But most most often than not, it's really not an issue and really not noticeable. It's kind of like having like a camera bump. You get you kind of your mind just kind of filters it out. It does the same thing. I wanted to show also the fingerprint scanner. As you can see, it's pretty quick. I wanted to show it on the the Red Magic Atus Pro Plus as well. Um, but yeah, and it's cool. You can actually do it from off. I don't know if I discover it in this one, but you can do it from um, yeah being off. But yeah, that's when a game changer. Just put your phone in the same spot every time, and you know it just pops on. You don't even need the you don't even need the phone on for it. Pretty sweet. Of course, you can do it with the hardware buttons, but. Having a built-in software button that allows that is pretty awesome. Yeah, one thing to be wary of, I think on the other device, I'm getting battery drain because of the VRAM. Of course, it makes sense that, you know, their extra RAM is going to drain the battery because I haven't increased the size, but I'm getting a little bit more, a little bit faster battery drain. So that's something to keep in mind if you want to extend, extend your RAM. I like it at 24 gigs on the other device. This one is at 12. It runs just fine. I can pretty much do everything I want. Um, a tip with this, if you have applications that are warped, like, or you know how you'll go into applications and they seem really blurry if you've you've uh, used a full device before. What you want to do is you want to go and open the app, like RuneScape, for instance. I've said it about a million times in every video, but it's my clearly my um, game addiction right now. But you open it, just open it on the front display. Make sure you're logged in, everything's loaded, and then open up the display. And the uh, it won't be like a stretched aspect ratio. It'll be very clear and very high quality, and it'll be super crisp. Like. That was something that I was really bothered with with this phone um, until I realized uh, all I had to do. It's cool you have like a spooky. <laughs> it's cool you have like a Jack Skellington kind of thing. I love Kingdom Hearts, so it's a, it's fun doing that level. You know the Halloween Town level and Kingdom Hearts one and two. Um, so yeah, and of course you got like you know each settings like you know basic Samsung UI. You can obviously try it yourself. It's, everything's the same. You just have a little bit of different features with like folding it. For instance, different applications will respond differently when it's folded in half. For instance, like YouTube. I know I'm off topic on the other phone, but if you open YouTube and you fold it in half, you get like a, you know, control center on the bottom and you get a video thing on the top. But I mean, I don't know why you do that when you can just watch it on the big display, which is typically why people get it because they like watching media and stuff. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you know, just there, are, there's all those settings. There's basically every, like the thing people are not really realizing is Every Android phone, while there might be some differences, they all contain core things. So if you want to know what's on every Android phone or what you're going to see consistently, go to go and look up like, you know, um, Android 13 review, like for the Google Pixels. So that is base vanilla Android, right? Vanilla being just no skins or anything like that. You go, go, like go and view that. And then um, you can see like any, everything on there in terms of like the settings options, in terms of. The abilities, everything you can do, maybe minus a few things. And I'm when I mean a few things, like maybe something specifically to the Google Camera app that is specific for that device. Other than that, everything's the same. Like all the settings are gonna be the same. The all the the UI is gonna be the same. Sorry about the the light. It's, it, you can't see it on the camera. That's the hardest part. Um, I can't see, and I don't know why, but I can't see it on the camera until afterwards. Like I find myself literally looking through the camera and not really seeing it for the most part. It, it's kind of weird. Yeah, you can change the shape and the color. This is some nice customization. I feel like they got this from the, I don't know if Color OS or Oxygen OS is, I think Oxygen OS is Cyanogen Mod. I do believe so. Right, Cyanogen Mod was pretty sweet. I don't know if you guys remember that, but that was basically like allowing yourself to get stock Android on old Android phones. So when your Android phone was really bloated up, you could essentially, and this is why rooting was so great. Um, people don't really, and I like rooting still for the ad blocker, but I can mostly do everything I could do on rooting on my phone by default anyway. So it's kind of like jailbreaking, how jailbreaking allowed you to do certain things that you can now just do on an iPhone. Um, it's the same kind of concept. Um, but yeah, so you do get um, the B127. Uh, this is the Bumblebee edition, clearly, as you can see with the thing in the background. But yeah, you get the you know Transformers theme. It's, it's pretty cool. I've liked it so far. I like the black on the sides and the gold toggle switch um i don't know i don't go into the game center in depth on this but the only difference between this and the 8 pro plus which so if you want to check out game center um, or game space i have a video called game space features essentially it's literally the same thing on this phone as it was on the 8 um the only difference is the four applications in the top right corner are different um and then the and they're just uh and i don't know so somebody was asking me how i got them i don't know they're just were built into the phone. I didn't do anything particularly. Maybe it's just something that they include with the the Pro Plus or at least the the higher RAM models that they include include in the software is like a you know you spend more money you get more kind of deal I guess. So that's something they were doing. Yeah, you can so anyway you can switch with the color shape animation the font. You can do the AOD 
always on display. You could do pretty much, pretty much literally everything. Um, and yes, yeah, so you got like, you know, um, that's a pretty cool clock. I wanted to change it up because I've been doing like the Transformers theme stuff for a while, but I really like that, the the Bumblebee wallpaper. I think it's, it's pretty sweet. Someone was asking if, you, if the launcher will ever be available. I don't think so. It will because somebody's going to upload the ROM to XDA and you'll be able to get it. But for the most part, I mean, I don't think they're going to offer it officially, um, but yes. But yeah, I don't, uh, and I think it's just because they're trying to basically preserve the features you get for spending literally 1200 for the Bumblebee edition. I don't know how it is price wise in China, but at least here, um, if you want to get it internationally, it was $1,200 for me to get this phone. So I think they're obviously going to try and guard everything. Um, apologies about that light again. It's very irritating. Um, that's like the worst part about filming at certain times where you can't really, um, control what's going on. Um, I do believe at this point I try to play Sly. I don't know if it even works. I think this is where it gets messed up. Hopefully it doesn't though. And when I say messed up, uh, yeah. So, and the reason being, it's not that it doesn't play. It's just because, and this is kind of cool because it does show like, you know, the PlayStation menu. This was like, if your disc was scratched, it couldn't read it. I don't know if you guys had a PS2, but back in the day before digital things, I, don't, I mean, there are kids probably watching this that I don't even know life before <laughs> digital games you download. But, but yeah, before, before you downloaded stuff, you literally had a disc and you could scratch the shit out of it. If you did not put that thing back in its box, if you got fingerprint smudges, if you got scratches on the disc, the game would be toast, bro. Like, you would literally ruin the game. Um, and, of course, I didn't know how to port the game over to another CD um, and burn CDs. I didn't know how to do that. Um, obviously, there's no reason to do that anymore. Um, and, of course, you know, if you are somehow work for the company that made this game, I had this game, so I have paid money for this game. I don't recommend getting games that you haven't paid for in the past. Plus, I don't think anybody's going to get a game... Um, for ps2 that they haven't had in the past they might but for instance i don't really like play ps2 games that are new right like new i'm not gonna i'm only gonna play stuff that's nostalgic for me and i feel like that's everybody who plays ps2 so everybody has owned you know the games they play in the past like for the most part as they keep in mind oh uh, yeah i just want to clear it up so uh i'm getting butthurt about um me like down downloading the game um yeah i've put money forth and that's that's something i do um, kind of like standby. I do think that you should support developers because I mean, I tried coding and developing games. That, that was hard. I literally was taking a class and we had to code Conway's game of life. And that was hard, man. Like that, that was hard, bro. And it might be really easy for people who intuitively code, but for me, it's always been a very difficult thing. And I, you know, I'm not very, I'm not good at it. So it obviously takes time, but I think there's just a certain point where you realize something's for you and something isn't for you. And I feel like I, I enjoy video editing much more as I see the green screen in the background. Um, I realized that that's something I'm doing. So I'm actually doing a digital, uh, or I forgot the, why would I forget the fucking name of my major? It's, it's, um, it's like media production pretty much, or like it's digital cinematography. That's the name. Um, so that's like the degree I'm in right now. I've switched my degree a million times. I, you know what, personally, I do enjoy being in school. I like the fact that it's taking a bit while. It sounds it sounds super weird. This is taking forever, but I like that if I go at a slow pace, I can always I can always be learning something because I realized after you know after a program or something, not all the information is going to stick. So I feel like learning things slow over time, and that's it's different for everybody, of course. Um, but for me personally, I do have a a bit of a um uh deficit when it comes to certain things with uh, school. So and I everyone's a fucking victim nowadays so i'm not going to talk about it anymore but um yeah i'm saying like i'm not anyway um but yeah that's basically maybe in school forever um but at the same time i do enjoy it because i do like learning things over time and i feel like it sticks better for me because that's the point it's obviously what you get from what you're doing it's not a school's about what you get from it. it's not you, of course you learn the information but you know rushing rushing through school is one thing but i mean what you retain is important so i was tapping the glass just so you guys can hear it um, sorry if that was super loud on my end, but yeah, I was trying to show you guys the difference between the plastic, you can hear it versus the glass it, and it's more, I think it's just polycarbonate, um, or something, but the, so people are always worried about the display breaking or things like that, or, but this is actually the first phone, the full phone that I really want to keep for a long time. Um, I'm not going to get rid of this thing. I always say that with every phone, I'm not going to really upgrade this phone until the next phone next year. Because I really actually like this phone. Uh, I mean, the Fold is awesome, dude. And this is finally a phone without a angled crease. Like, or not a, sorry. Uh, the top doesn't angle fold. 
You know what I mean? There's no like, yeah, there's no gap, which is really, really nice because that was the one thing kind of turning me off to the device. Um, I wanted to show you guys just a little close up of how it looks. Yeah, as you can see though, it's very similar. Like it's it's not super thick, man. Like it's a little bit thicker, but for the most part, man, like that's a regularly, it's, this phone is relatively thin. It's probably, you know, it's, it's about as, if you have like an iPhone 11, it is probably about as thick as that um, randomly. If you have like an iPhone 11, like it's about as thick as a iPhone. Um, so that, so I mean, like seeing that comparatively to like the thickness of an iPhone, uh, because I feel like a lot of people might have that considering different phones. Um, most people just have iPhones anyway. But yeah, this is also a, Do a RAM, like a Dodge RAM key, or like a Dodge key. So if you have, uh, and it's just a typical kind of basic key fob. So hopefully you can, um, like you have this available to you if you have a car. So you can kind of see how thick the device is. Like it's basically, it seems it's as thick um, or just about the same thickness. Uh, it's a little bit bigger for the fold, but for the most part, it's like very similar. So that's pretty much what you're getting. Yeah, so it, it is thin. It's it's a lot lighter. It is 10 grams lighter, I'm pretty sure than, I don't know about last year's model, but the other fold I had was the Fold 3. And that thing was just too heavy and too much of a brick in your pocket. But they really changed it up with this one. This one's thin. It doesn't, I don't feel like it's just going to slide out of my pocket every chance it has. Um, I feel like it's very sturdy. Like, I feel like this is why I've really enjoyed this device. Apologies about the thumb prints. Also, the teeny cup of coffee. Yo, uh, fortunately, our apartment complex has this super nice coffee machine. So every day my wife are, uh, and I are going down and getting coffee. Really appreciate it. Shout out to them. Legends. Um, oh, but yeah. So, of course, you have the different ordeals and things okay so as you can see um i'm gonna be quiet now uh i'll be right back This phone case at getcaseborn.com. I repeat, getcaseborn.com. You can pick up the Galaxy Z Fold 5 case right here with the pen that freaking holds in the phone and all that, guys. You got the three layers of protection, the three round durability check. You got it all, guys. So use your boy's discount code Thomas10 today. Go get yourself a Z Fold 5 case. And yeah, what's good? And hello again. Uh, yeah, so the so discount code Thomas10 is in, in the so description. This, so this guy, um, he, uh, it showed like his matches and everything. So he's, you know, nice guy. Uh, probably thinks a lot about the Roman Empire. And uh, right swipes 1 million. Okay. Matches 719. Chats 217. Dates one relationships zero. Bro, this guy drone on about that, but yeah. <laughs> so um, sad, dude. Of course the clickbaity title. I okay, so regardless of how you feel about police, I personally just enjoy cop chases and stuff. I think that they're a, a huge adrenaline rush. Um don't Not that many yeah, changes. nothing political, don't it want really it to go there. Um but yeah, so Marquez Brownlee, uh pretty awesome guy. To a pretty much a legend. But as you can see, the like, display the is nice. It's a it's a 1080p display. Um, you do have uh, pretty much four times the display resolution on the fold, though. Um, and I'm talking on the front screen. I believe it's QHD on both. Don't give me your don't um generations a formula that's been don't hold me to that i do think it is that though years. i actually as a kid i used to actively i also think Porsches marquez gets just, paid a lot to I they're all so boring. They all look do like the same thing. um one of those i mean his videos are good this is a really good video dude much better than anything i could produce like by far top notch dude this guy's always older, like the moment this guy I, I can like pushed content i was like man this guy produces high quality content i subscribed maybe back in like 2013 uh, when I was I can it. 10 years ago, Does that make sense? <laughs> I hope that makes when sense. I was uh, about 18 years old, I know I'm a fucking dinosaur at 28. It's trash. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so he's saying it's like a Porsche. I don't know if the iPhone's a Porsche. It's more like a, 
It's more like a car with a fucking fart box on it that makes it sound fast. <laughs> I feel like that's really what an iPhone is. But yeah, good video. I, also, quick, I don't know how people feel about that. This, this means okay. I swear to you. I don't know. I read things about how people think it's something different. So I don't want people to think there's anything with that. I mean, okay. Like it. Okay. Just want to clear that up. Just want to clear that up. Um. Yeah, but yo, dude. So Sly Cooper three. We finally got it going. We are playing that game, my guys. We downloaded it earlier, but now we are actually playing. Yeah. So you, you know, you press jump and then circle to hop on the wire. And yes, yeah, so this game is basically you're like a you know a raccoon and you go around um, and you like I don't know if you really steal stuff. I think that's what it is. But you're like a you know you're like a thief essentially. Um, but yeah, it's really it's really fun. This is like a really solid platformer if you're looking for a platformer to play, um, especially with the ability to boost graphics. Um, before I had it at super high graphics, and sometimes ROMs will not run smoothly even if the phone can handle it specs wise. So I had to unfortunately take the quality down to a pretty low setting, but it still like looks good enough. Honestly, PS2 games that are boosted a little bit kind of look like mobile games, which is kind of funny. Like this looks like a mobile game I'd play, to be honest, which is nice because I don't know. And there's like the PS2 era was a special era and same with the PS3. And what I, what I mean by this, this was right before micro purchases and of course you know map packs with the ps3 but those were at least all you at least they were offering map packs but this was right before the plague of in-app purchases have pretty much or has or have however i say it has taken over video games like video games are not what they used to be because now they're just money suckers and not every single one is like that of course you can pay like five bucks for games that don't contain you know in-app purchases through like a play pass or the apple subscription thing which is pretty sweet I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad they offer that because they know people want that, but back in the day, man, games weren't like that. Like, if you wanted people to play your game, your game had to be good because the only impression people had was a box cover, and because you you didn't buy it digitally, like, there weren't digital downloads. You'd actually go to, and I'm sure everybody knows this, but if you don't, if you're like a kid watching this and you're just like, what? Um, yeah, you had to go to, like, that was what was fun about going to Best Buy, too, because you could see what games were available. You know what I mean? You'd go in and there'd just be PS2 games like lined up and stacked and you'd go and you'd see like, and it was so cool when like, you know, I'd ask for a game and my, and my dad was like, yeah, we can get one. I was like, thanks dad. <laughs> but yeah, no, that was really cool when, he, you know, we'd, we'd uh, end up getting PS2 games because it was, it was like a new friggin' adventure, bro. It was like something, you know, something we could play that was like brand new. It, it was, uh, you know, had a fun feeling. It was, it was a good time. You know what I mean? And they were also, in terms of game quality, they were always these open world sandbox type mission type games. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Kingdom Hearts, Spyro, friggin' uh, all these, these games I've always talked about a hundred times that I just very much feel like I have a comfort attachment to. Because that's what I used to do when I felt uncomfortable or I didn't really have a lot of connections where I was at, where I felt comfortable. I would play video games. Video games was always an escape for me. Um, a way for me to feel comfortable so with the comfort that comes from games I can always re-experience it when I play which is why I love playing video games I think that's why a lot of people like playing games other than the fact that it's fun but yeah that's why I love these classic nostalgia games because you can get the same experience in the palm of your hand like think about this guys like you know years ago just like one I would have thought these graphics were amazing and two I never would have thought that I would be able to play the games I was playing on my my TV in the palm of my hand and I could bring it with me anywhere I wanted of course you know you had handheld games but they were always seen as knockoffs you know you know mobile mobile game and I think the problem with people's perception of mobile gaming is they see they still have this perception that they're knockoff games when I think that I think they're getting to the point where they're not really knockoff games anymore we're getting actual legit titles something that i always shit on apple for um and actually this is nothing to do with me shitting on apple but i always do shit on apple um i personally this just like it's like the whole thing of like you know it was like the you know how there's like it's like sports rivalry or it's it's just a fun like rivalry it's 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 like harmless but it's fun to just uh like i guess like joke around with it um so i don't i don't really hate apple i don't care that much but <laughs> but it but it like it is fun, you know what I mean? It's a good time. So, like, it just it's it's something to kind of rip on that I enjoy. That's nobody's gonna get really upset about, except for your boy. But I mean, now we're getting to get to the place where the bridge between mobile gaming and console gaming is getting narrower and narrower, narrower. 
You know what I mean? There's there's oh, less yeah. and less difference and that's and that's and how we're seeing it is you know ps2 games and soon to be ps3 games and then ps4 and then maybe soon enough we'll get console quality content in a phone um, we are getting closer we're getting very close and and yeah uh i mean people uh would say uh, i did a reaction i like doing reaction videos i've been i've been doing them because i always i watch a lot of channels where people react to stuff and I'm not, I'm trying to do more than just, you know, facial expressions and sh uh, stuff like that where somebody makes money off of the same video that just sits there and laughs at it or something. It's just, it's like, it's just whatever. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit more <laughs> supposedly useful than just reacting. Um, but I have one on the A17 and how it performs, um, or at least the announcement. And I just, I don't know, there's a lot of like, I worked hard on that video. So if you want to check that out, I will, I'll just... Uh, yeah, go on my channel. It's like the fourth video back, I think, third or fourth back. But yeah, it's on there. Just go check it out afterwards. It's only like seven minutes long, but I did work hard on it. Um, and yeah. Um, but yeah, I pretty much roast it, and it's it's a good time. It's a good freaking time, my guys. Uh, yeah, here I am. Um, yeah, mess up. So yeah, if you want to know specs really quickly in this device and in in both devices, they both have the same RAM except for the uh, this one has LP LPDDR5X RAM versus the um, Fold only having LPDDR5 RAM. Obviously, it's not that much of a difference. I personally think it's just like a small change, but of course it is an improvement. Um, you also get 24 gigs on here versus 12 on the other one, or you can actually expand it up to 20, so pretty much 20 versus 24. So it's actually not that big of a divide, especially having 20 gigs of RAM. Like you're, you're pretty much good. Um, if people are feel iffy about VRAM, so it's not native RAM, but VRAM, virtual RAM, is actually what handles primarily your graphics processing. So VRAM is actually pretty good. And it goes in and allocates 8 gigabytes in your storage. If that's something, and that's if you set it to the max capacity that it allows. Like, for instance, you can expand the RAM up to 8 on here, and you can expand the RAM up to 8 on the fold as well. Um, and that's something that is freaking awesome, but yeah. It does take up physical hardware. It's not a gimmick. Don't worry. Like, I always used to be, like, iffy because I saw videos, like, don't turn on your VRAM. Like, don't do this with your device. And everyone's like, oh, okay, like, I won't do it because one phone reviewer said you should, I shouldn't do it. So that means the whole process, like, you should trust these companies, man. They're big companies. They're, the people making these devices are intelligent. They're smart people. If you're going to make a phone and to port Android and make it work, you know what I mean, just to make it work is something that intelligent takes intelligence. So you would think that these people also know what they're talking about when they add virtual RAM. This is something you've been able to do with PCs, you know, is, is expand your RAM and virtual RAM by, you know, you're using ROM. Or, um, it's like pretty much your actual storage, you know what I mean? Uh, using parts of that for your RAM. And essentially that's all you're doing with the regular RAM. Um, it's, I'm so sorry with that light as well. Hopefully it doesn't completely destroy what's going on but yeah as you can see there's a new enemy on the display <laughs> hopefully i get rid of that um i got distracted by the thing in the back but yeah there's also like a um I, I, you know i really i really appreciate caseborn i'm sorry for running this advertisement into the ground um i just i do like how there is a pen holder though and I do like the durability of the case. And there's like, you know, there's grip on the side, things like that. It also comes with two screen protectors, comes with two wipes with dry wipes and wet wipes. It literally, they literally got you hooked up, man. They give you extra sticky things for it. If you didn't know with a fold, you actually have to stick the case on because, you know, it's, it has to hold to the sides while not getting to the hinge. But this is actually the first case I've seen where the hinge in the middle is attached. And that was something that was really cool about this case that I didn't see anywhere else. Every other case is a two-parter. So if you're actually wanting more security with the um, durability of the phone case, I would go with this. Of course, I don't want I don't want people to think just because I'm advertising for this person that I don't actually recommend the case. Like I actually do like the case, and I think that the fact that it's attached also means you, it doesn't require as much of the stickers to stick the phone to like keep the phone in place, which is awesome because. Honestly, who wants a bunch of adhesive over their phone? I don't. You know what I mean? And I know that I'm going to be using this phone case when I go on pretty much anything active outside. I'm going to slap this phone case back on. Um, I don't run it when I'm at home, but that's because I, I personally enjoy how thin the fold is and I'm trying to enjoy it. But it doesn't add that much bulk, at least to the 
width of the phone, which is nice, but it's also a durable case. If you're looking to just protect your phone where it doesn't break at all and you can hold the pen, this is perfect. I think it's the best execution of a pen holder I've seen so far. Because some of them, I'm like the, you know, the OtterBox ones, they just you just pop in the side or the Samsung one, you just pop it inside. There's no actual physical over the over the pen protection where the pen itself is actually protected too. So that's something you're getting with this as well. And it just works super well. You can actually, um, I'm in contact with Caseborn. I did recommend to them to possibly develop a case for this phone with little slits where you can actually, it'll cover the vents. So that's something that I am um, pushing hopefully that they will do because I know that that's something that you viewers have wanted as well. Um, apologies if I'm being redundant. But yeah, um, this is just a great case company and they're fantastic. It's just nobody's really heard of them. So that's why I feel like I want to support them. It also comes with a kickstand, as you can see. Um, I am playing a little bit of this wonderful game. It is on speed mode because uh, why not? It also It's also funny because I feel like, I feel like this cartoon um, is funnier when it comes to um I, to be honest i thought i slowed this down but I, I think it'd be funnier if it's sped up you can turn it down if it the little noises annoy you um but i just think it's going to be funnier just seeing like super uh super speed with the combos and stuff so yeah and obviously gaming works well on this device gaming works well on the other phone we're at a point where gaming is not going to be messed up it's not going to be bad if you're gonna get gaming you're gonna get a good gaming experience on your phone if it adds at least to be honest you could work with eight gigs but and shout out to apple actually for finally bumping their devices up to eight gigs so eight gigs can work um but you really need 12 as a baseline for every game to work if you want to boost it to really high quality graphics you need about 12 gigs of ram and that you know it, it varies per game of what you're playing of course but what I've experienced for top quality, you need at least 12 gigs of RAM. So fortunately, this has 12 gigs of RAM. You can send up to 20. It's pretty sweet. Um, oh, okay. I do slow it down. It, it, it's not 100 miles an hour, I think. Here. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it, yo, turn that down. Uh, I will. I'm gonna make sure on the sped up clips to just mute the volume setting on to hear the super fast fan in the background and, and things like that. I know it's pretty annoying. Especially if it's sped up, it's, it's much worse. Um, but yeah, um, I really like this guy, and I also was able to level him up to a 41 with these random booster things. And of course, people probably want to balance it between the two characters. But yeah, this is uh, One Piece. If you haven't watched One Piece, it's a pretty good show. Basically, it's like, you know, this kid Bloopy wants to be a pirate, so he ends up starting as a pirate crew thing. And they're like these fruits that they eat, right? It's random, but they eat this, like, I forgot the name of it, but it gives them powers. If they, it's called the Devil Fruit. It gives people random powers depending on what, like who eats it and stuff. So Luffy got this power, and this isn't Luffy. Luffy's like the you probably see him because people do play with Luffy, but um, Luffy's like the stretchy guy. This guy like has a cannon. Oh, there's Luffy. Okay, yeah. So he he can stretch and fight. As you can see, you see look at the limbs. I think this game is pretty sweet. It's probably the most fun in terms of a fighting game I've had. It reminds me of Pokemon Unite. Um, Pokemon Unite's really fun too. I think that um, this is a very nice uh, way of, essentially, I mean, they pretty much copy Pokemon Unite, <laughs> but I think it's good. To be honest, I think copying is a good thing. People, you know, it's it's not fun when you're arguing which one's better, but we're at a point where no phone is bad. But if you, but the sheer, the difference that you want to look for, and we are almost done, so I'm just going to sum it up, basically, the difference that you want to see with your devices are it's pretty much what do you want and everybody says it but it's true do you want a big display that will because like this is the best device if you're if you're a homebody if you're at home a lot you don't really go out much the fold is the phone for you if you do um and obviously the other one is too if you do go out um and you can avoid dust the other phone is for you but these phones are actually primarily for people who just kind of sit at home this one does have much better uh, much better protection in terms of not getting dust or anything in a vent um but keep in mind that this one doesn't do as well with heat um heat management as you get with the other phone that has a built-in fan and it has a metal in it that is a 12 layer cooling system with the Magic 8s pro um there's things to consider you get more updates with the fold you get less with the red magic i haven't seen an update to my 8 at all since i got the 8s 8s and they they say up to a year but i think it's a three months if i'm being honest 
because I have not seen an update, and they might give one. But they're doing better because with the 8S Pro Plus, I have seen three updates. If you want to get a phone that will get frequent updates, get the Chinese model because the Chinese ROM gets much more uh, attention. I've noticed that way more updates already on this than the international models. So, I mean, yeah, they prioritize one or the other. Uh, they prioritize one or the other, but yeah, I want to show you guys just like, you know, how far they can zoom because they both have roughly 50, 48 to 50 megapixel cameras. I don't know if that's the case with this one or not. I don't remember. We're getting a lot, like people also don't say camera suck. Like the camera on the front sucks because of the display, but that you're regardless of the display being over the camera right on the 8S Pro Plus, but what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Like the inner display, as you can see, is, is kind of washed out here too um so but that's what happens when you have you have a screen over a camera thing it just gets ruined so that's something as uh to consider if you are a person that does like you know i guess like random tiktoks or shit like that you know you might want to go with the fold um and yeah but anyway uh thank you guys for watching i really appreciate your time um and yeah hopefully this helps you make a decision have a good one